Which was reality that you'd come knocking at my door and we would share this fantasy once more. It was a dream. It was a simple fantasy. You had a surprise for me. I was surprised to find that the surprise was HIV. Yes. I've been the hurt one, sad, confused, and afraid for my insecurities, for my impurities. There was a price to be paid. I've laid down with the wrong man and the rose to find I now carry a deadly strand, taking the form of HIV inside of me. What do I do now? I've lost my will to live. That's what I first thought when I tested positive. I fought with my mind and my emotions. I did wrestle and how this virus somehow crept into my vessel. I ran from the truth, destroyed any proof that I had HIV, unknowing it was the truth that I needed to set me free. With no one to blame for this mind numbing pain, I isolated as I contemplated ways to die. Tired of suffering and living this life. In public, I wore baggy jeans and a hood covered my head. There was a vacancy in my eyes as I roamed as the walking, walking day. Hey, come on, girl. Until one day I fell to my knees and I felt it out of crying. I said, why? Creator, why? And they said to me, hold on. Come on. Be strong. Come on. You were living recklessly and you were running out of time. You were living recklessly and I needed you back in line. Mm. I'm preparing you to do things you never thought you could. So just know, my child, all things are working together for your good. Come on. So today, I don't blame the man who thought for certain he held my life in his hand because truth be told, he broke no law. Mm -hmm. It was my decision to let him enter me wrong. Huh. Come on. So today, I say, protect yourselves, respect yourselves, don't neglect yourselves. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we give in to lust, but put a condom on that thing and wrap that shit up. Mm. <laughs>